What's up everybody? Today we're doing inner and outer tie rods. So the battery's dead in this again, getting it charged up. As soon as this is done charging, uh, I'll back this out and pull the red car in. All right, got the car swapped around. Front end of this pulled in here. Here's the, uh, the parts we're gonna be replacing. I started off with just buying this and then uh, went to replace it and realized that everything was junk. So we'll uh, get the wheels pulled off and get it up in the air. The, uh, that inner tie rod right there is our main problem. That movement right there is, and the other side's the same way, but it's not as bad. First, we'll just take uh, take this off. Since we've uh, since I got new ones to go on, you don't really have to worry about damaging it. So you can uh, even hit it just straight up on the bottom right there. There it is. Before uh, you take it off right there, it's always a good idea to uh, straighten your wheel out first. So I got that broke loose. With the uh, with the wheel straight, it was so far back in here I couldn't hardly get to it. So it's going to need alignment anyways. I'll get it as close as I can. There it is. It's pretty bad. So now the inner this right here along with that um, I've never done an inner tie rod so I don't know what to expect here but I have this tool this will go we'll just I don't know what size it is but we'll just grab one for now so this goes on there like that grabs a hold of that. All right, I got the right size on there. So we'll slide this on here. And uh, I don't know if I gotta like hold the rack or anything, so I'm just gonna put this on and uh, give it a turn, see what happens. Seems to have done it. Yep. There it is. So unfortunately I didn't buy um, new boots. So I didn't know that those were that bad. But here's our new tie rod, uh, inner tie rod. And I've already got the uh, Loctite comes already on there. Just gonna screw right back. Got that on. Um, the book calls for 40 pounds, 40 foot pounds. So 
So this is that full lock. So I'm just going to turn this and spindle over and uh, set this just roughly where, uh, where it seems like it should go. And then we can install our new castle nut. And it calls for 43 foot pounds. All that slop's gone out of here now. See how close I was to the alignment. Oh, that's pretty close actually. Closer than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so this side's all done. Um, I looked in the manual. I sh should have done that first, but it turns out I was supposed to uh, hold the rack with another wrench. So I'll be sure to do that on the other side. But I'll go ahead and uh, get the other side done real quick, and then we'll see if all the uh, slop out of the steering wheel is gone. this side all done luckily that boot was still in good shape so it's all how it's supposed to be everything's torqued wheels are back on but all the slop is gone on both sides so go ahead and lower it back down All right, so the wheel's on, we can really see how far off we are. So, driver's side is straight. And the passenger side is uh, towed in a bit. I mean, definitely gonna need alignment. There's no way I could have uh, got that, you know, right without any kind of measuring or anything. So, we got the front end all fixed on this. Uh, I'll take it to get alignment sometime next week and uh, I can start driving it again. So that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday for another video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Peace.